BBC Radio York. BBC Radio York, Jonathan Gowart with you for a Wednesday morning, 13 minutes to 11. Now, when you think about animation, uh, you might think about films like Moana or Frozen. Uh, You might think about things like uh, Chicken Run or Wallace and Gromit. Or maybe children's TV programmes like Number Blocks. Draw a number in the air. That many colours you will share. Draw a number? You can draw me if you like. I think it means draw a number like these. Our numberlings. And a number one is one straight line going down. So there you are. Now you know that's number blocks on CBeebies if you've never seen it. Well, this morning I'm talking to a man who's uh, moved from animation, in fact he was one of the first animators to work on number blocks on CBeebies, into the world of print, into the world of illustrations, and he is one of the 150 artists around York who is involved in York Open Studios uh, this coming weekend and last weekend. Mark Godfrey Murphy is uh, sitting opposite me in the studio, smiling from ear to ear this morning. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Was it nice to hear a bit of number blocks again? Oh, it's like old friends coming to visit me again. How long ago was that? Uh, so I left in 2017. Um, I finished my contract with CBeebies um, and we had to stay, stayed in York. So I was living in York at the time. So I was going down on a Monday morning to London, coming back on a Friday. So I had to pause in my contract, get to know the city that I lived in. Because the day we moved to York, this is a while ago now, I went down to start my formal training as an animator. I was doing that down at Bristol at Ardman Studios. And yeah, so I had had a had a break in animation and started selling my own work and creating my own my own illustrations. As you say, Ardman Animation, we suddenly realised that, you know, you've been trained by the best and worked yeah. in the holy of holies of animation. Yeah, it was a, an amazing experience, really special. What strikes me when I started to read about you and all the things that you do is that you're not like one of these artists who's like set in stone. It's like, I paint landscapes in <laughs> oils or I do illustrations for children's books, whatever. You do all sorts, or have done, and are continuing to do all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess when I brought my portfolio in today, and when you look across it, it, it is quite varied. Um, yeah, it, 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 my, I started printmaking, um, and I just started with my surroundings, so creating beautiful scenes of York, the, the, the Minster, Clifford's Tower. Um, and then the further along I got, I started inventing my own characters, creating my own worlds if you like and I'm just really at the moment kind of looking for that connection with the people that look at my work and just through recent events that I've done all my I have a a series of animal puns and animal illustrations and they're the ones that get in the laughs that get in the the conversation going people like my landscapes obviously as well but these are the ones that I get real emotion from people well, there's a, a link to one of the landscapes because I've been I've looked. You may have it in. Can, can I see the portfolio? Yeah, absolutely. Of the portfolio. There may be. Um, uh, oh gosh! <laughs> wow! A, a huge number of things have just been handed to me. Um, yeah, thank you very much indeed. I'll just wander off with these. Um, <laughs> no, um, we, we've had one of our reporters out at, at Holgate Windmill yes. this morning, yeah. and you've done a, a beautiful illustration of. I have uh, indeed. Holgate yeah, Wind- thank you very Holgate much. Windmill. Yeah, one of um, I think few remaining five sailed windmills in the in the country. Something like that. Yeah. Oh wow! Now this this is I really like this one because this Thank you. everybody will know yep. that view yep. of York Minster <laughs> that you take from uh, the the city walls yep. uh, opposite the big very very posh five star hotel. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is this is the view of York <laughs> Minster that when national journalists come to York, they always stand about approximately there on the wall yep. so they can get York Minster into the background. It's, it's the one standing there to get my reference photo so I could create the illustration was quite a challenge. There's lots of people stopping in that Pacific area to, to, to work from. Yeah. But yeah, it's great. We got off a train from <laughs> London the other night and I couldn't believe it. There was the most magnificent rainbow right oh. behind York Minster just at that moment. Oh. And by the time I'd reached from a smartphone, it had <laughs> gone. It had gone. What about capturing the moments? What, what about actually being there, you know, and thinking, wow, I can, I'm now seeing that in a different way. I'm seeing it in a new light. Because the difficulty about a city like York is... Everything's been painted, everything's yeah. been drawn yeah. 10,000 times. Yeah, yeah. The, it's funny, I have this very similar conversation with, with the people that came to see me at Open Studios just this weekend um, because I have a liner cut illustration of the shambles uh, that I've digitally painted on top of a, um, of a liner cut print. 
and the number of people that tell me how it's such a unique take on the shambles um uh, which which is really lovely to hear because obviously it's 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 one thing to draw it but it's another thing to put your own interpretation onto something um which for me as a as an artist is really important and yeah it was it is looking at things and maybe wondering what your take could be on it and maybe it's something like just putting a rainbow in the background of by, yeah. by the minster. To... That idea is copyright, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was... Tell me about yeah. meeting the people who like your art, or maybe with open studios. I mean, people are just wandering around with a booklet in their hand. You've got some copies yep. of it there with its ye- yellow cover. I mean, it's magnificent production. Yeah, really I remember is. the first open <laughs> studios, and it was it was sort of fairly flimsy, and it was a bit ad hoc. And now it's such a well-organised thing with mm. fold-out maps <laughs> and goodness knows what. I mean, it really yep. is so detailed and well-organised. What's it actually like for you as the artist to meet people who are, maybe love your work so maybe they've they've come specifically or maybe they're seeing your work for the first time it's just it's just really special it's it's a real privilege to be part of york open studios uh, because i think it really carries with it that gravitas of the the people that come and tour york open studios not just the residents but people that travel in to to visit york open studios it's that able to give them a real insight into the work that we're doing um, a lot of the artists taking part are going to be sharing their practice how they create their work um, as well as the work itself and it's just really magical meeting the people that have come to see you and have all those conversations that you're really kind of desperate to have <laughs> is that good is that reinforcing because i always imagine that a lot of artists spend a lot of their time working alone really it's them yeah. and the medium they're working with be it pottery or silver or gold or glass or in your case paper and ink and, yeah. and, and whatever <laughs> um and a lot of it's quite lonely. I mean, I don't want to paint this sort of Victorian Dickensian idea of you working away <laughs> in some cold garret at the top sure. of a building, but you you don't necessarily um, be you're not necessarily on a day to day basis part of the artistic community. But this brings the mm. artistic community together. Absolutely, I think you make a really interesting point. So I think a lot of the artists generally do work on their own, and so don't have that community. But York Open Studios not only um is creating an amazing show for visitors it's creating the community for the artists themselves um so i've been able to network with artists i haven't met before artists that i'm really familiar with it's that it's that date in the calendar when we can all get together we can all plan for it we can all work together and there are meetings and things throughout the year with york open studios so it, it really creates that sense of togetherness um which is which is a nice antidote for the solo working. Yes. That so many I'm not just do. doing this on my own. There are yeah. other people standing there scratching their heads yeah, thinking, yeah. where do I take this? Um, during lockdown, I mean, you've, you've, you've got some humorous um, ones here. I'm just looking at uh, Otter Chaos here. Yep. <laughs> um, and and I've, I've, I've looked at these online and now I'm seeing it in, in reality. This is an otter on its hind legs and the words otter down one side and chaos over the bottom. You obviously like these word plays and these, these verbal jokes along with your images. Yeah, yeah. I, f- f- for me, the further I've got in my artistic journey, for want of a better expression, is that's good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll catch that one. Um, but for me, life is just so short. Life is so short, and so I, if I can make something funny, if I can make someone smile, I know that sounds really cliche. But when I when I see the emotion in people, the reaction, the laugh, as even as you were demonstrating just then, it's just it just makes everything so worthwhile. And I just want to make I want if I can keep harnessing that that emotion in people I want to keep creating it when do you think you go to next because we started off talking about animation and then we've <laughs> moved through other art and now we're at we're print making and uh, and you've made lovely mugs with uh, with some of your, yep. your prints on and stuff where does it go next excellent question I, I wish I knew my, my, my plan I'm going to be making a few more animal puns I think and I'm I'm quite keen to connect some dots back to uh the world of animation i currently um i'm an animation tutor for an online animation school where i get students work and i critique it for them um suggest ways they can make their shots better to help them get a job in the industry um so who knows maybe i'll be doing some more illustrations that 
have movement in them. Very good. We shall look out for them. You've got a great website. Uh, if people, thank you. If people want to go and find you there, they'll see lots of examples of your work. Yeah, thank you. Best of luck with the forthcoming weekend. Thank you so much. Nosy members of the public coming to have a, a wander around and a look at what you do. Is it nice to actually see people in the flesh and, and oh, hear the absolutely. comments they make? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, sometimes you get a, few, a couple of people around that you perhaps rather <laughs> weren't, weren't there, but, but they're few and far between. But but generally, yeah, it's 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 great the, Good luck with having it. the conversations. Good luck with this at thank the weekend. You so much. Nice Pretty to meet fine, you this thank morning. You. Thank you, you for too. joining us. Thanks Cheers. Well, Cheers. For